What's up YouTube, Silver Dragons here, and in this video, I'm going to show you undeniable proof that there is manipulation going on right now in the silver market. There is illegal activity taking place, which is forcing silver price to be lower than it should be. Buckle up, because this is crazy. Thank you so much for watching my video. I do sincerely appreciate it. If you want to learn more about investing in precious metals, or if you just want to watch awesome videos about gold and silver, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, so I know I've made a few videos covering this topic before, but I've never shown the actual documents from the Department of Justice proving that the manipulation has taken place. We've looked at other articles that uh, people have written, but we've never gone to the actual source. And I've found four different accounts that prove silver market manipulation has taken place and is likely going on right now. So let's check these out. But real quick, I want to let you know, I just finished reading a special report on silver manipulation. This is a free download. If you're concerned and you want to understand the full story A to Z, I consider this mandatory reading so click the link in the description put in your email and hit download so we can be on the same page on this topic okay so here we are at the united states department of justice the website is justice.gov and we're going to look at four different instances of people being found guilty of manipulating the silver market so the first one here is on november 6th 2018 the headline is former precious metals trader pleads guilty to commodities fraud and spoofing conspiracy so a former precious metals trader at a united states bank by the way we now know this bank is jp morgan uh, pleaded guilty in a proceeding unsealed yesterday to commodities fraud and a spoofing conspiracy in connection with his participation in fraudulent and deceptive trading activity in the precious metals futures contracts markets so the guy's name is john edmonds and if we scroll down here we can read as part of his plea Edmonds admitted he conspired with other precious metals traders at the bank to manipulate the markets for gold silver platinum and palladium futures contracts so right there proof that the silver market is being manipulated and by the way this guy still hasn't been sentenced uh his sentencing is scheduled for june 15 2023 so I guess we'll find out how many years he gets in jail. It's probably going to be a lot, but we won't know until then. The second one we're going to look at was posted on August 20th, 2019. The headline is Precious Metals Trader Pleads Guilty to Conspiracy and Spoofing Charges. So if we dig in here, a former precious metals trader at the London, Singapore, and New York offices of a U.S. bank <laughs> pleaded guilty today to conspiracy and spoofing charges. By the way, this bank is also J.P. Moore. Morgan. The gentleman's name was Christian Truns. And uh, I just want to point out that the bank is important. If you don't know, JP Morgan Chase is the custodian of the iShares Silver Trust. This is the largest silver ETF in the world. So they stand to gain the most out of manipulating silver price. And the people who worked for JP Morgan and illegally manipulated silver price made massive bonuses while doing so john edmonds who we already talked about made almost two million dollars christian truns 2.7 million but that's nothing compared to this guy right here on august 10th 2022 former jp morgan traders convicted of fraud attempted price manipulation and spoofing in a multi-year market manipulation scheme their names greg smith and Michael Nowak. These were some of the biggest players in the silver manipulation world for eight years. They were involved in thousands of unlawful trading sequences. They will be held accountable and may be facing up to 20 years in prison. The last one we're going to look at today and the most recent was on December 9th of 2022, ex-Wall Street trader convicted of fraud in precious metals spoofing scheme. 
So let's check it out here. A federal jury in the Northern District of Illinois convicted a former trader at J.P. Morgan Chase, <laughs> go figure, and Credit Suisse today of fraud in connection with a spoofing scheme in the gold and silver futures markets. His name was Christopher Jordan. And if we scroll down here, check this out. Jordan was convicted of wire fraud affecting a financial institution. He is scheduled to be sentenced at a later date and faces a maximum penalty of 30 years in prison. A federal district court judge will determine any sentence after considering the U.S. sentencing guidelines and other statutory factors. So probably he's not going to be sentenced for a number of years. I mean, they drag these things on and on and on. The guy from 2018, uh, if you remember, John Edmonds has still not yet been sentenced five years later. Uh, but the last thing I wanted to show you in September 2020, JP Morgan admitted to committing wire fraud and a bunch of other stuff, and they have to pay $920 million in criminal monetary penalties. But honestly, $920 20 million is barely a slap on the wrist for JP Morgan. They've likely made billions of dollars over the years with these illegal spoofing activities. So I don't know if justice is really being served, but we definitely know manipulation has been taking place in the silver market. So there you go. Undeniable proof straight from the Department of Justice. Clearly, there's manipulation going on in the silver market. Is it over? Have they stopped with these illegal practices? I certainly don't think so. I mean, JP Morgan stands to make a lot of money over illegally manipulating the price up or down. I mean, think about it. If they take a short position with SLV, manipulate the price lower and sell, it's basically an unlimited money printing machine. And think about it. They don't even need to be the ones shorting silver. They could tell their hedge fund buddies, hey, bet against silver today. We're going to spoof the price lower. You make a bunch of money. You tell your clients to invest in SLV. We make a bunch of money. I mean, there's a number of ways you could work it. I certainly am not smart enough to figure out all the logistics, although I do know that spoofing is basically creating trades that you do not want to execute. So you could pretend you're this whale that wants to either buy a bunch of silver or sell a bunch of silver. You scare off the small fish and then you cancel your trade. So they've done this a number of times. It's been illegal since 2010. So there probably are going to be more people that are convicted in the future. And I will make updated videos as things progress. But I do want to remind you one more time to download that special report about silver price manipulation. The information goes all the way back to the Hunt brothers in the 70s and 80s. So that is a must read. The link is down below in the description. Feel free to share your comments in the comment section about silver price manipulation. And I do want to say a massive thank you so much for watching my video, and I will see you all in my next one. Silver Dragons out.